Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today I just want to show you how to navigate the menu system on the Fronius Galvo Primo and Simo inverters and just give you a brief explanation of the different readouts you have on the inverter. So the main, this uh, screen we got up now is the main one you'll see on the inverter. We check the top, it says now, that means it's on the now menu, and then it tells you the readout on the now menu, which is the AC output power. So that's the power being produced by the system right now. And if you look underneath the uh, the numbers there, the wattage, we've got four little symbols here. Now that each symbol uh, designates what the button below it does. So that's up, down, that's a back or escape button, that's an enter symbol there. So if we scroll up or down right now, it's going to tell us everything which is happening with the system right now. So we'll go through, down, so this is the reactive power the system's working at at the moment. You don't need to worry about that one too much. The AC voltage the uh, system has detected from the grid at the moment. The, the current going out from the inverter to the grid, so 2.1 amps at the moment. The frequency of the grid. And this one's interesting, the PV array voltage. So this is the voltage from the solar panels. This one's a uh, promo inverter and it has the two uh, trackers, two maximum power point trackers. So it shows the voltage on each one. And then it shows the current on each one as well, PV array current into each input. Then we've got just the, the current time, the current date, and when they were back to the uh, AC output power. Now we press the back button here we go to the main menu and you see now is highlighted at the moment. Over here we've got log, over here we've got info and these buttons here have turned to across arrows so we can navigate either way. We'll go across to log first, so we just press across and then press enter to enter the log menu. First up it gives us the AC energy yield, so how many kilowatt hours is produced today uh, in the last year and total since the system was installed. So this one's just 0.19 of a kilowatt hour so far today, so 190 watt hours. We scroll down again, we've got the AC maximum output power, so how much the, the maximum it's produced at any given time today, the highest it's got to in the last year, the highest it's installed. The earnings, now unless you have a Fronia smart meter, the earnings are not going to be accurate, well at least in Australia anyway, because we get paid a different amount for the surplus power to what we get paid for, uh, well, the uh, the rate solar power is saving us if it's used in our property and it's uh, saving us from taking that power at a higher rate from the grid. So you need a smart meter if you want to be able to differentiate what rate the uh, solar is actually saving you. Carbon dioxide savings, so that's uh, if you compare it to like a coal powered uh, or coal fired power station providing electricity, instead of uh, taking the power from coal fired electricity, it's taking it from solar, which is zero CO2 sa uh, emissions. So this is a savings of on CO2 carbon dioxide. AC maximum voltage. So this shows the maximum voltage on the AC side, so on the grid side that the inverter has seen today in the last year at a total since it was installed. You can see actually in the year, sometimes it's got up really, really high here. And if it was doing that every day, that would be a major problem. Scroll down, PV ray maximum voltage, so the highest the, the uh, PV ray voltage has ever been. Operating hours, alternate operating hours and back to AC energy yield. We press back again, and now we've got curve, we'll go across to that, and press enter to enter that menu. So here we've got, this is a five kilowatt inverter, so at the top of our graph we've got five, and it shows us how much power is being produced right now, and the log, how many, how many kilowatt hours have been produced today. You can see where it's still early in the morning at the moment, and we've got this tiny little line here, which is showing us the solar has started working. And now what will happen as you go throughout the day, we'll check this at the end of the day, and it was a nice sunny day all day, this would be a nice nice curve, bell curve, on the chart there. But at this time of day, because it's just started, it's only just starting to rise up. Now if uh, you have uh, intermittent cloud cover coming over there, you'll see, you'll see the solar bell curve, so the line going up, but then in the, when the cloud comes over, there'll be jagged cuts out of it. 
So it's just something to keep in mind. So we press back again to get out of that menu. And next we've got setup, press setup. And so we've got a number of different options here. Standby to put the inverter in standby mode where it's not actually producing any power, so you don't want to do that. Wi-Fi access point if you want to can actually connect it to the inverter by Wi-Fi to your devices. You can uh, log in that way and uh, if you want to make any changes to the data manager card or things like that. Datcom. So this is more for if your inverter is uh, connected with other inverters and they're to make up one six system. So there's information about that. USB. So this is, uh, you can actually do a firmware update of the inverter by taking off the cover underneath the inverter and putting in a USB stick with the right software in it. So this is a just a menu for that. Relay, with this you can test the uh, relay on the data manager card. Clock, so you can set the time here, set the date, daylight saving mode, things like that. Display setting, there's uh, a yeah, change of language of the, of the system. Night mode, night mode uh, will keep the inverter operational and tracking voltages and, and uh, frequency of the grid at night time. This is very important to have operational if you're uh, using a, a Fronius smart meter because with night mode not turned off and turned on, the inverter is going to shut down after dark and it's not going to get any data after dark from the Fronius smart meter. So you want to have that turned on night mode if you're using a Fronius smart meter. So you can log all the nighttime consumption data as well. Contrast, it just changes the the uh, brightness of the screen and then backlight that turns on or off the black the backlight on the inverter so at the moment it's set on auto so it automatically fades out and you can also turn it on so it's always on this blue backlight or off altogether like that so we just have it on auto as it was we press back to get out of that menu and then energy yield so we can go to that one so this is to calibrate electricity meters and uh, set feed-in tariffs and carbon dioxide factors as, as well. We go to fan, you can test the fans inside the inverter. So test fan. Hear that fan, yep. Fan one is definitely working. We go to fan two, test fan two. I think the Primo inverters don't have a fan too, actually. And then it's back to the beginning. So I'll press the escape again to get out of that menu. Info, this will just be information about the inverter. So readings of the inverter, the state of the power stage, lots of information about the inverter, which you normally don't have to worry about too much. And then we go back to the now menu and see what we're at. Where we're, what power we're outputting in AC. So look, I hope that video has been helpful for you in understanding the uh, menu system on the Fronius Primo Galbo and Samo inverters. Thanks for watching.